Hi, I'm glad you're here with us today. We're going to have a great time together. This week, we're talking all about our virtual science fair. We've had a lot of fun already, and we've got some cool stuff to look at today. Today, we're going to be reading about how big is the solar system. And we have a fun book to look at, too. Oh, here's the opening page. It says, circling the sun. The sun is a star. The sun looks bigger and brighter than other stars. It is the closest star to Earth. The stars you see in the night sky look so little because they are so far away. The sun is the center of the solar system. Everything that circles around the sun is part of the solar system. The solar system includes planets, moons, asteroids, and comets. That's the, and that's the sun right there. One year on Earth is about 365 days. This is how long it takes Earth to go around the sun. The length of one year may be shorter on some planets and longer on other planets. It depends on the time it takes each planet to go around the sun. And that's Earth right there. One year on Mercury is only 88 days. If you measured your age with Mercury years, you would be much older. An 11-year-old on Earth would be about 45 years old on Mercury. A day and the number of hours it takes a planet to spin on its axis. We know that a day on Earth is 24 hours. Days on other planets are not all this length. Some planets spin faster and some planets spin slower. And that's its axis right there. Venus is the planet with the longest day. It takes Venus 243 days to spin once. Jupiter has the shortest day. The planet with a day most like Earth is Mars. A day on Mars is 24 hours and 37 minutes. And it says over here, Jupiter's day is only 10 hours long. That's Jupiter. The solar system. How big is the solar system? Scientists think that the solar system is billions of kilometers across. It's hard to com compare the size of the solar system to anything we know. Wow, scientists called astronomers do not know exactly where the solar system ends. We think of Pluto as one of the farthest objects in the solar system, but there are icy comets even further than Pluto that are still part of our solar system. In some drawings, it looks like the sun and planets are close together. There are really millions of kilometers between the outer planets. This diagram and chart shows the distance between the planets. That's our solar system right there. And that's some of the distances between the planets. A scale model of the planets. It is not easy to make a correct model of something as big as the solar system. The sun is much bigger than the planets. Also, there are very long distances between planets. A scale model can be used to compare size. The drawing below shows a scale model of the sizes of the planets in the solar system. This drawing uses very small proportions. It shows the size of objects on a very small scale. The drawing is too small to show real distances between the sun and the planets. The planets are spaced to fit onto these pages. Astronomers study the light coming from faraway stars. Astronomers also study the light reflecting from planets. Telescopes are used to take measurements of objects in space. That's a measurement from Earth to the sun. Measurements have shown that Earth is about 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles from the sun. Astronomers use the distance from sun to earth as a unit of measurement called the AU. It would take a car going 50 miles per hour more than 200 years to travel the distance from earth to the sun. 
planet temperatures. The temperature of a planet depends on how far it is from the sun. Planets that are close to the sun, like Mercury and Venus, are very hot. Planets that are far from the sun, like Uranus and Neptune, are very cold. Here's the chart. It says, look at the table below. Compare the distances from the sun, then compare the temperatures. Okay, and here's all of the planets on that first column. That's the distance in their temperatures. It says down here, Neptune is the coldest planet. Isn't that cool looking? The Voyager spacecrafts. <clears throat> in 1977, scientists at NASA sent two spacecrafts into space. The Voyager 1 and the Voyager 2 spacecrafts were built to explore the solar system. The spacecrafts took images of planets and moons. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 traveled about 88,500 kilometers per hour. They traveled more than a million kilometers each day. Every day, the spacecraft sent information back to Earth. Scientists have learned important things from the two spacecrafts. In August 2006, Voyager 1 reached the outer edge of our solar system. Voyager 1 is now more than 14 billion kilometers from the sun, or 100 AU. Voyager 1 has traveled farther than any human-made object in the universe. Voyager 1 has enough nuclear power to keep working for hundreds of years. Wow. Our solar system's many moons. When someone says moon, we think of moon that travels around Earth, but there are many moons in the solar system. In our solar system, scientists have discovered about 140 moons. A moon is a satellite. Some planets do not have any moons, but some planets have many moons. Look at the table below to find how many moons or satellites each planet has. And here's the table right here. Are there, any, are there other solar systems? The sun is a star. All the planets and moons that circle the sun are part of our solar system, but there are many other solar systems. The stars you see in the sky are all part of our galaxy. A galaxy is a group of billions of stars. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way. The Milky Way has over 200 billion stars that appear in a spiral. The diameter of the Milky Way is probably over 100,000 light years. Does life exist somewhere else in the universe? Astronomers have found more than 100 planets outside of our solar system. These 100 planets are huge planets made of gas, much like Jupiter. These planets could not support life. In 2013, NASA wants to launch a terrestrial planet finder. This space telescope will be looking for small rocky planets like Earth. The telescope will also be able to learn about the atmospheres of other planets. It says down here, Jupiter is made up of mo mostly two different gases. If it is 90% hydrogen and the rest is helium, what percent of Jupiter is helium? 10%. Isn't that a great picture? And back here we have the glossary. And it's got five different glossary terms we're going to go over. Astronomer, a scientist who studies space. Galaxy, a collection of billions of stars. Light year, a unit of measurement that can lie. Uh, let's try that again. Light year, unit of distance that can that can let light can travel in one year. Satellite, an object that orbits around a larger object. And finally, solar system, the sun and the objects that are traveling around it. That was a great book on our solar system. Okay, let's look at a fun book too. This one is called Giggle Giggle Quack. This is a fun book. The pictures are great.
Farmer Brown was going on vacation. He left his brother Bob in charge of the animals. I wrote everything down for you. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine, said Farmer Brown. But keep an eye on Duck. He's trouble. Farmer Brown thought he heard giggles and snickers as he drove away, but he couldn't be sure. Bob gave Duck a good long stare and went inside. He read the first note. Tuesday night is pizza night, not the frozen kind. The hens prefer anchovies. And then over here it says giggle, giggle, cluck. Right there. Twenty-nine minutes later, there was hot pizza in the barn. Bob checked on the animals before he went to bed. Everything was just fine. Bob had all the pigs washed in no time. Farmer Brown called home on Wednesday night to check in. Did you feed the animals like I wrote in the note, he asked. Done, replied Bob, counting seven empty pizza boxes. Did you see my note about the pigs, asked Farmer Brown. All taken care of, said Bob proudly. Are you keeping a very close eye, to, eye, eye on duck, Farmer Brown asked. Bob gave Duck a good long stare. Duck was too busy sharpening his pencil to notice. Just keep him in the house, ordered Farmer Brown. He's a bad influence on the cows. And then over here it says, giggle, giggle, moo, giggle, oink, giggle, quack. And then we've got a note. It says Thursday night is movie night. It's the cow's turn to pick. And it says giggle, giggle, moo. Bob was in the kitchen popping corn just as the animal settled in to watch the sound of music and the phone rang. The only thing Farmer Brown heard on the other end was Giggle, giggle, quack, quick, giggle, moo, giggle, oink. Uh-oh, duck, screamed Farmer Brown. He knows duck can write. See how duck's got a pencil right there? Farmer Brown knows duck can write. Oh, no. And then this next note, it's for you, Bob. Oh, and Bob had to leave. It says aloha. It shows Bob traveling home. So all along, Duck could write and was writing notes. That's a really fun and silly book. I really liked it. Well, I hope you have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you all again tomorrow.